Hello, I'm Dr Beth Colby, a psychiatrist in London. A lot has been published and spoken about the human gut microbiome, but recently scientists have found an entirely new form of life in the human gut microbiome. The study is only in preprint form, that is, it has not been peer reviewed by other scientists, but it was published in Science and Nature in January 2024. And why am I talking about this as a psychiatrist? Well, the gut microbiome has implications for the health of humans, both physical and mental. And these new entities may be good for our physical or mental health, bad for our physical or mental health, or may not affect us at all. Now let's just outline what the human gut microbiome is. It is also known as gut flora and refers to the microorganisms that inhabit the human gastrointestinal tract, which goes from the mouth to the anus. The microorganisms that we already know in the gut microbiome include bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa and archaea. The gut microbiome is individual to each person and is important to the digestive and overall health of a person. And what is the name of this new class of life? They're called obelisks, because of their shape and they're thought to be like thyroids which can chop up parts of themselves and stick themselves together in the process of replication. So obelisks have been found in the human mouth and the rest of the digestive tract are shaped like rods and are circular bits of RNA that contain one or two genes and are organised into a rod-like shape. The scientific team, which is at Stanford University, have found about 30,000 different obelisks and said that one person can harbour a single obelisk for about a year. It was stated that they have been found in 10% of human microbiomes. Now, these new forms of life need to replicate within a host, just like viruses. And a host has been found in dental plaque. And this is a common bacterial component of dental plaque, streptococcus, sanguinis. As I said, is it is not known whether the obelisks are harmful or not, or they may even be beneficial. However, if they disturb the human gut microbiome, then this may have implications for health. So it's an exciting time and we'll see whether these new life entities that have just been discovered actually do affect our health and whether they affect our mental health. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been interesting for you. Bye for now.